Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is Magnum Running, the professional running blog of me, Cameron Magnum Bean. Today is December the 16th. It is a Monday morning. I uh, just got up, just got back from uh, Portland last night. Traveled for like 15 hours, uh, so still a little tired. But uh, thought I'd just give you an update. Uh, I'm back in Chattanooga, so uh, if the video looks different or uh, feels different, feels different to me, uh, then you'll understand why. But uh, I'm going to catch everybody up. Uh, Thanksgiving, um, I did a race in uh, Hartford, Connecticut called the Manchester Road Race, and this was my, my fourth year to do it, my best placing uh, that I did so far. I was eighth place, um, but my time was slower. It kind of varies year to year, especially with the course and the conditions. and. Uh, this year was a was a windy year, and so the last like two miles we had a we had a uh, a headwind just heading right at us. So they definitely slowed down times. I think um, my time was like 30 seconds slower than the year before, but I was two places better, and so uh, definitely a good payday, and, and I got to beat some good guys. And uh, so when I just got back from Portland last night, uh, we had a race. Uh, we had the club. It's the USA Track and Field Club Cross Country Championships uh, up in Bend, Oregon. Uh, which is like probably two and a half hour, three hour drive from Portland where we flew into. And uh, our team got second by one point, so that kind of sucks. Not not really too happy about that. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's been a long season, and, and I don't know, none of us really were able to pull it together and have, no one had a great race. I mean, we had like a couple decent races, but um, especially for cross country, I race like crap. My legs have been feeling like poop ever since uh, I'm a little before Manchester and you know just trying to keep it together and I definitely wasn't myself uh, on racing on this course and uh, I don't know uh, when it comes to cross country and steeplechase I always put a lot of pressure on myself because uh, you know that's what I'm good at and I know that I can run with the best uh, when it comes down to it especially on uh, on tough courses and that's where I, I uh, tend to uh, excel so um, but, you know that's that's behind us, and I know we're going to move forward. And you know, I'm definitely going to be using that for motivation for the for the winter and the spring. Um, but right now, just going to take a couple of days uh, downtime, um, enjoying today. Uh, had a nice big boy breakfast this morning, picked some eggs, some cereal, um, playing with Nala. We're about to go outside and, and go explore a little bit. Um, but uh, after that, I'm going to ramp back up and, and run a little indoor track um, in January, beginning of January. I'm going to open up. In Birmingham, Alabama, uh, going back to uh, my alma mater, um, and uh, going back down to Sanford, and that's I think on January the 11th. Uh, Chris Moan and I, I think we're going to come in there and run a 3K, so that'll be a nice opener, a rust buster. And that'll definitely be, uh, it'll probably be a shock to the system. That's some definitely some speed I haven't hit in a while. Um, but before that, we're actually going to be down. I'm heading down to Florida for our annual uh, winter training. We're very blessed to be able to go down to Tallahassee, uh, Zap, and uh, our crew's gonna be down there for I think uh, five, six weeks or so, because um, once it gets snowy up in uh, Blowing Rock and Boone, uh, they don't really clear the trails out very well. So it's you know it's a little more dangerous for us to run. It's actually kind of tough for us to run, and um, without having to drive like you know an hour down the mountain. Um, and also, if we want to do like speed workouts, especially for track coming up, um, the tracks are all frozen over and snows on them, so it just didn't really work out. Let's see what else. Um, Getting ready for uh, Christmas and the holidays. I'm going to uh, down to Atlanta uh, with uh, a couple of my buddies. That uh, this is our sixth year together for doing uh, New Year's, and we've done Chattanooga a bunch of times, Gatlinburg. We did Tampa last year. We did uh, New York like two years ago. So uh, switching up, going down to Atlanta, trying a new spot, trying to switch it up every year. And I'm really excited for that. And um, let's see, uh, tomorrow is my uh, 27th anniversary of the birthing of moi. Thank you, Stephen Lisa Bean, uh, doing it strong since 86. And uh, my dad is actually, his birthday is on Wednesday, and he turns uh, 57. So, um, so yeah, so we got some birthdays coming up, and then my brother's birthday is the day after Christmas, and, and so um, and my aunt's birthday is like right before the New Year's too. So we had, we had a packed schedule for partying at the Bean and the uh, Hewitt family. So uh, excited for, for things to come, and I just want to give you all a shout out, tell you all thank you for continuing to pray for me, and and uh, and you know just positive thoughts and, and everything. So hopefully I'll get to see a lot of you uh, here in a couple of days, and hopefully the next couple of weeks or so. But uh, 
Take care. I love you. God bless. See ya. Bye.